Hey, good morning, Buy Me Coffee. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for the support. I wanted to do a quick ad hoc unedited video, kind of walking you through my progression with JSA Call and how I'm using it. I plan to do a full uh, mini series on this and a one-on-one for those of you who don't know what it is and specifically start why you might want to and then we'll get into all of the details. But for today's video, I kind of wanted to just show you uh, what I'm running here. So I'm in my shack and this is my primary uh, station that I run 12 hours every single day from roughly 5 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. on the 40 meter band. I also have with me my field station and I want to talk about that in just a second. Now, first thing I want to do every morning once I boot up my machine, again around 5 o'clock in the morning, is I like to go and turn on heart beating. And I set the heart beating to every 15 minutes, so this will transmit a heartbeat and allow everybody know that I am on the network. And this is the most one of the most powerful aspects of JSA Call. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and manually also send a heartbeat. And what we should see here in about 15 seconds or so uh, after I finish transmitting, you know, we haven't quite done that yet, so we're in the process right now of transmitting. And uh, we can actually see that the QDX has that slow uh, blinking light to indicate that it is uh, transmitting. Now, once this goes out, all of the stations that can hear me should start to uh, respond. And uh, you can actually see here in the waterfall that there is at least a handful of stations with those darker shaded areas in blue that uh, are actually responding. So these are all the stations that... Um, have acknowledged and can hear me off to the right. So that's the first thing I do, and it'll do this every 15 minutes. Now, off to the left here, this is my field laptop, and you can actually see that it also picked up my station there, KT7RUN. What's interesting is I only have one HF antenna, so for development and practice, I actually have a second QDX, but I'm transmitting into a dummy load. So this presents a one-to-one -one SWR to the transceiver, so it's perfectly happy to do that. And um, in fact, we can do something real fun here. We'll do this ad hoc. We're gonna go over to KT7RUN, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send it a uh, directed message, and we're gonna have it put a message in the inbox, and I'm just gonna put, uh, you know, live test. And we're going to go ahead and transmit. So this will take 30 seconds. I'm on the uh, normal mode. One other thing I found that's useful, given that I have no feedback in the field, I picked up this uh, Ratty. I think it's the, I don't want to get the number wrong, but this is the old uh, shortwave radio. And we're going to turn up the volume here. And you can actually hear tone. So for about 80 bucks, I have this little tiny shortwave radio that's able to make sure that I'm actually getting audio out. I've had a number of problems with the QDX under Linux in the field where it has been sending out no audio. So this is a nice poor man's way to do that. And then as you can see here on my second station, we have a received message from my other station. Uh, let's see where we are here. And I can go ahead and click on my inbox, show messages here, and you can see there we have live test. A couple of other changes I've made to this whole setup here is that now that I'm running this permanently, I wanted a uh, continuous uh, stable 12 volt uh, input coming into it. And I actually found this little guy, Put I'll put a link down below because I can't pronounce the name, but it is a mini UPS. The spec sheet on Amazon is incorrect. They market it as a 10 amp hour uh, battery. It's actually a um, 3000 milliamp hour battery, which for the QDX will run it for close to 20 hours. But the nice thing about this unit is that I've got the QDX connected to this battery. And then since it is a mini UPS, I can quite literally disconnect the power and we're still up and running and no big issues. So between having the battery backup here for uh, the QDX, and then also having my FZM1, which has a uh, battery as well, and also connected to mains. I have the ability for the power to go out, and I think the FZM1 with the extended battery pack I have, I don't know if you can see it, um, 
it's about this size. Where is it here? It will run for about 11 hours and then I get about 20. So this is a really cool system. So anyways, stick around for a full video. Apologies for the crude editing. I just wanted to get some information out there on what I'm working on. And then for you guys also on Buy Me A Coffee, the other thing we're working on is a persistent net. So I'll have documentation for you on how to configure all of this stuff from first principles. But before we do that, we'll talk about the why, and then we're gonna try to get some nets going and uh, see if we're able to build an HF radio only network with each other's. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Let me get my coffee. Let's do this properly. I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Oh, let me know if you guys see values in these short little videos like this uh, that are unedited. I just wanna get information out to you guys rather than having to sit down and produce a whole video because I have so much on my plate to give you guys uh, other projects and products that you're into. All right, later guys, happy Thursday.